It's got a little politics in it, so try not to be offended. <clears throat> Here we go. Whenever thinking about music theory, most people like discussing the pros and cons. And obviously, w whenever learning anything, it's good to consult the pros in the field to, to see what they're thinking, right? So I get it. I get consulting the pros. But why do I why why do I want to the advice of the cons? I mean, do do we really need to con consult the criminals here? Like, what are we? What is this? Some kind of what? Like the Democratic Party trying to buy election votes? We don't need to. Why would we consult the cons for music theory? Why not just talk to the pros out there? So we we don't need the advice of cons unless unless we're seeking to learn how to make like a like a toothbrush into a into a makeshift shiv knife shank thing otherwise i don't really see the benefits it's like it's like well you know th this is what julian lage professional bluesy jazz player has to say about the essence of music and it's like okay that's interesting and then it's like and, and because we really need to be to to balance things out when thinking about guitar theory we also must get the opinion of this con Scarface, who, who, who's been locked up for abusing his neighbor's cat. Equal, equal perspective, balanced opinions and all that, you know? And it's like, you know, actually some say that Scarface barbecued his neighbor's cat along, along with some local park geese, but, but the mainstream sewage media, mainstream of sewage media won't let us, won't let us say that. They won't let us say that on the YouTube. So I won't. I'm not going to say that. I won't say that because because I, I will for the sake of humanity and civil discourse and monetization uh, refrain from mentioning. I won't even mention the idea of, of neighbor cat eating or the delicacy of park pond turtle. I, actually, you know, he was, I don't even think he was, I don't know the story or anything, but I don't even think he was arrested for eating cats, even though they say there was like strong evidence, but, but this is just, this is just rumor, but, but it, w it wouldn't be politically correct to arrest him for eating cats these days. That's a, that's a no, no, apparently. So, so he was actually arrested for coughing up a fur ball on, on some lady's gouchy shoes as she as she exits her her BMW with some Hollywood California license plate on it to enter some fine dining restaurant the the furball coughing at that point being considered quote disturbing the peace which apparently apparently that qualifies for action to be taken the the, the police the police are completely stumped as to how one man could have had so much fur in him as to warrant arrest over furball coughing you know it's a mystery honestly modern modern mysteries these days are more complex than like sherlock holmes out there it's tough to it's tough to see what's going on around here i tell you anyways i'm sorry but unless unless the con has some kind of, of advice about how cat gut strings play better on the guitar than nylon or steel strings or maybe maybe how fur balls in your throat Make make a cool like damp dampened vocal quality to your singing. I feel like consulting the con is a waste of time here, and we should just stick to talking to the pros. Plus, I just think it's funny that that as a country, what we choose to to get upset about with whatever the the big T man's the <laughs> the big T man rhetoric, you know, because because honestly, he. He says over the top hyperbolic statements all the time. So it's just kind of interesting to note which ones of those hyperbolic statements become the talking points, right? I mean, I mean I'm I'm not sure anybody is actually eating cats, but seriously, is it is it really that offensive to say that a starving person might start looking at cats and dogs as dinner? I mean the the Beverly Hillbillies were eating roadkill possum for crying out loud. And that even after they became rich, they were still eating roadkill possum, and no one was no, no, no one was really offended about the implications. I mean, starving starving people stuck in the mountaintops have eaten their own foot 
for crying out loud. It, it, like, like if it's between starving or cooking up my good old horse Trotter, uh, Trotter will most likely not be trotting anymore. I don't see why that's like, <laughs> I'm not sure that's offensive, but I don't, I don't really get it. Anyway, 